Hello friends and knife nerds. This is a closer look at the Fremont Knives Sweetwater. So grippy G10 scales. Nice small steel pocket clip here. Three screws, very Spyderco-esque looking pocket clip, except probably smaller, non-reversible, non-deep carry. Uh, so the blade centering is a little bit off. Um, might just need some adjustment in here. Curious if that's the tension or what the line you're pushing on. Anyway, that is solvable. Uh, stainless steel liner it's a liner lock i did i do like this kind of g10 it's it, it grabs the finger nicely you can see the milling here and then they have this uh kind of contouring along the edge here now uh, or chamfer excuse me along the edge here the uh the thumb studs are one of the things they definitely got right here um these are comfortable thumb studs. Doesn't hurt to dig your finger at the rounded top right there. And it's, uh, it doesn't take much to deploy the blade here. Just a little bit and it flies right out. This is assisted and uh, it is def it definitely works very well. And it's not difficult to put back in. Nice, easy amount of pressure to uh, to put the blade back. So that's, that's nice because a lot of times... When you have an assisted, it takes, when you get to here, sometimes you need to bring in the other finger and uh, do double pressure like, like this, but you can just easily close it. I like that. Um, steel, stainless steel bolsters, it looks like. This knife has a very utilitarian appearance. No frills, as mentioned in the description. This is uh, this purposeful. They just want an EDC knife for you that you're just going to take out of your pocket that uh, you're not looking for something fancy. That's who this is for. This is a guy who wants an assisted blade and a nice EDC. Nice hollow grind here, so it's going to be nice and slicey. Guy who needs a blade quick and needs to get a task done. Put it right back, get it over with. And you're not going to forget about this thing in your pocket. They list five ounces, and uh, we have five point six seven ounces. So it's five plus. This is this is a uh, a mighty EDC knife. Now let's get some measurements here. Let's get down to brass tacks. This thing, yeah, they say seven and three quarters. And uh, let me see. I might call this. More than that. Yeah, I would say this is seven and seven eighths. So that that is a that is a large knife. Which as you guys know, I appreciate a large knife. I have XL hands. Not gigantic, but uh, you know uh, they're large. They're, they've been called monkey mitts. So this knife is it's 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 a big knife and it uh like you know let's let me show you we're gonna make some comparisons here not just size wise but so you can stylistically see the difference let's bring out the elementum you compare size here pivot to pivot and we'll bring out the cjrb bowie so like this knife screams just use me i am i am here to task these are a little flashier. These are a little more eye-catching. This knife just says, let's get it done. Let's take care of what we have to. So that's pretty cool. Let's compare it. These were smaller knives. Let's compare it quickly to a couple of uh, larger knives. The Glide Strike by Sencut and the Kaiser Justice. So you can see it's, uh, it's a little bit smaller, but it's not too much. These are very large knives. It's probably about three quarters of an inch smaller than these. And uh, it's a nice medium, almost large. I'd say eight inches is when you're dealing with large. So it's just about there, but it just isn't a uh, pocket knife. 
So it's heavy, like I said, 5.67 ounces. The, uh, the only issue that I have been having is I think it's getting caught here. I think there's some unevenness. You can, you can, uh, I know you can't hear it, but you can feel it. So I think that uh, when I need to take the liner out and file down the top of it because it's catching on on that. So that's not too big of a deal, but it's uh, something that needs fixing. So I will take care of that myself. Should be able to file it down. The price offering, $150. It's assembled here in the U.S. It's designed here in the U.S. And, uh, you know, like most U.S. knives, it is... Parts are shipped in and assembled here. So uh, Fremont makes some pretty cool stuff. And uh, this is a, you know, a cool utilitarian entrance back into the EDC knife realm. And I'm curious to see what other cool stuff they have.